Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another luxury bag review. This is not an unboxing, but I still wanted to show you guys the box and everything you get inside of the box. This is the box that I received from Louis Vuitton.com and inside of the box you will get a little pouch. That's where your keys are to your lock and key. And then you will have that blue um, ribbon around your box as well. And then you will get a envelope is going to have your receipt and some more information about Louis Vuitton including their return policy. It's going to be a pretty detailed review. I'm going to be giving you guys information about the bag, my thoughts about the bag. And this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 35 in the Damier Ben Canvas style. And if you're not familiar with the Speedy bags, the Speedy bags come in the 25, the 30, the 35, I believe a 40 and a 45. So these bags can be really small and they can be really big, okay? Now I would say that this bag right here is pretty big of a bag, okay? And we'll get into that in a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the specs of this bag. Like I said, this is the Damier Eben Canvas. You have textile lining and natural cowhide trimmings. You have the golden color metallic pieces and also a zipper closure with a padlock and also an inside pocket. They used to have the exact dimensions on this bag on the Louis Vuitton site, but I don't see that on there, but I will put that up for you guys. It doesn't come with this. This is something that I added, but this is how the bag looks. So let me just go ahead and show you guys. And I don't have it stuffed all the way, so it's going to have a few wrinkles in it. Definitely make sure you stuff your bag to capacity so that you don't have any wrinkles. Let me go ahead and show you guys the inside of the bag. Here's the inside of the bag right here. Absolutely beautiful. That red interior is gorgeous. And then you do have one pocket on the inside. You can fit a cell phone in this pocket. I don't plan on locking my bag or anything. I hung my keys right there and I leave them there. Now, if you wanna find out where your bag was made at, you just lift up the flap and on the inside, you will see the little numbers there, and that's how you can find out where your bag was made, whether it was made in the United States, whether it was made in France, and also the week it was made. So for mine, it's SD2178, which means my bag was made in the United States during the 27th week of 2018. So that means that my bag was just recently made, wasn't even made a year ago. This is a top handle bag. You can get the bandolier version that has the strap where you can wear this crossbody or as a shoulder bag, but that's probably about, I believe between 400 and $500 more. And a bag this big, I wouldn't want as a crossbody, so I didn't need that. This bag right here is a bag that slouches so if you don't have much in your bag, it's going to slouch like that. I did purchase a base shaper for my bag. I got this off of eBay. It was $9.99. Since it's red, I can put it right inside of my bag and no one is gonna be able to tell that I have anything in there. It blends right in with the red inside of the bag. And see, let me show you. So it's in there and it helps the bag keep its shape. So now the bag is not slouching as much, but it's still going to slouch because of the fact that that's the type of bag that this is. Now you can also buy a bag organizer and put it in there and that'll definitely help your bag keep its shape as well, okay? Some would still not consider this an everyday bag because of the size. This is a pretty big bag. You can fit a bunch of stuff in this bag. This bag can be considered an everyday bag for the working woman, okay? For a woman that carries a lot of stuff in reference to work. If you want a size that's functional and can fit a good amount of stuff in it, but it's not too, too big, then you can definitely check out the Speedy 30. It's a little bit smaller than this bag. Most people consider this bag too big, okay? I am a short woman, so that was one of my biggest concerns. But to me, this bag is not too, too big, but it can be considered big, if you get what I'm saying. Now for me, when I'm doing my mystery shops or if I'm going shopping and I know I'm going to be going from store to store, this bag is perfect because it can fit everything in it and you can still have room. Okay, like if you're going shopping from store to store and you're going to have a lot of bags, you don't have to worry about carrying those bags. You can stuff everything in here and still have pretty much your hands free with your bag. The cost of this bag is $1,040. And there's not really a big price jump between the sizes. I think the smallest size, which is the Speedy 25 is $1,000. And then the Speedy 30 is $1,020. And then my bag is $1,040. So there's only a $20 
price difference, but even though it's only a $20 price difference, you're getting a big difference in size. Now, as far as the handles of this bag, the handles are leather and you know you don't have to worry about the handles turning or anything like you would have to worry if you got the azure canvas color you don't have to worry about the handles turning because they're already brown and they're not going to really turn but yeah the handles are leather and then you also have these pieces here that are leather as well as well as some leather on the flap on the inside of the bag okay i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how much stuff you can fit in this bag, okay? Okay guys, so the bag is empty right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and start loading stuff into the bag. So first off, I'm gonna put my iPad in the bag. This is the 10 inch iPad Pro. That can fit in here with no problem. You could probably fit a MacBook Pro in here as well. So yeah, I just put it at the bottom so that it can help the bag further maintain the shape. I'll go ahead and put my wallet in here. This is my leather fossil wallet, so that can go in there. Okay, so here's a makeup bag that would have a compact, um, some powder, a couple of lipsticks. We can put that in there as well. In case for my Burberry shades, I would put this in here. Also, this bag is used for when I'm mystery shopping or shopping. I will keep all of my mystery shop information in here just to keep it organized. I can throw this in the bag as well. And here's my planner that I also take with me when I'm mystery shopping. And then last but not least, let's just say you had on a cardigan and you're out and about and you want to take it off, I'm going to throw that in there. For me, this is the most I would have in this bag. At this point, the bag is pretty heavy, but it's not horrible, okay? It's not horrible. So yeah, let me just go ahead and show you guys the inside. So as you see, it zips up with no problem. And this is how the bag is looking, okay? So that's everything I have in this bag and there's still room left, okay? If this was a Speedy 30, it will be filled to capacity and you may not even be able to zip it. But because this is the 35, you can go ahead and fit that stuff in with no problem, all right? So now I'm just gonna show you guys how the bag looks on a, a short person like me, I'm five foot two. are concerned like I said I can see why people think that it's too big of a bag but to me I think it's good I mean you're only paying a couple dollars more and you're getting more room and you're putting yourself in a position where you won't have to have anything else in your hands when you have this bag because it can fit everything okay now as far as where you can get like little accessories for your bag I got this from Amazon and it doesn't fade or anything like that you definitely don't want to have any accessories that are gonna fade and take away you know the quality of your bag or make your bag look cheap but yeah for me this bag right here is definitely a bag that can be used for hauling a lot of items can be used for travel it can be used for every day depending on you know your situation or if you have children or anything like that definitely a really good bag these bags definitely hold their value this material right here is good material that will last you years i went to an event it was an outdoor event and my bag got rained on and it just still looks brand new like nothing ever happened you don't have to worry about any color transfer or anything like that now as far as finding this bag on other places besides louis vuitton you can definitely find it on pre-love sites and i hope that this video has been helpful to you guys if you have any questions or comments you can definitely leave those below. And as usual, I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.